Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome back to another video. So before we start the planning of this weekly spread, I wanted to mention that I actually lost the footage of me decorating this page. So I'm just going to walk through it real quick. I added a hours work tracker, a sleep tracker, and a little workout routine at the bottom. The two dots that I'm pointing to represent garbage and recycling pickup. And all I did was add some green washi tape and some post-it stamp tape. And of course, I'm using some of my old pay bill stickers. I want to use these up throughout the year so I can just get rid of them because they're literally the last items I have from my very first sticker book that I bought from Happy Planner. I have no idea how I lost this footage, but that's just what happened. So this week from May 16th to the 22nd, I kind of wanted to start working out. Um, I am three months postpartum and I thought I could probably start working out and handle it. But that week was such a crazy work week. I was so overwhelmed and so stressed out that I actually ended up not working out at all. I, I just couldn't do it. And during that week, I also wasn't feeling so good. Um, I think I had really low iron levels. And so I felt extremely cold, extremely dizzy, and just very fatigued, very, very weak in the muscles. But around Friday morning, I felt so much better. I don't know what happened, but... I think um, Wednesday, half, half of Tuesday, Wednesday, and half of Thursday, I felt like crap. But Friday, I felt so much better. And it just shows you that you should, you know, take better care of yourself, especially when it comes to your diet. And I am looking out for myself much better now. <laughs> but yeah, so for the other side of the this spread you can see me decorate i don't know what happened to that footage you guys i was really upset when i was uploading the videos to my tablet and i was like where's the beginning of my video it just shows you that sometimes these cameras and these um sd cards are just not reliable but other than being sick i had quite of a busy work week work was a lot there was a lot of stuff to do at work. It was nuts. And I had to like kind of double everything because I'm going to be, I'm out the next week for parental leave. And so I had so much to do, so much I wanted to clean up and have ready for my team to take care of while I'm away for a week. And so it was just very overwhelming. And I think my body just shut down. I'm currently still reading um, a Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass, and I plan to finish it this week, but I did not, so I'll hope to finish it the following week. I guess we'll, we shall see. By the time you guys watch this video, I probably would have finished the book by then, but it is so good so far. If you're currently reading any of her books, oh my god, pick up A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Just do it. It's really, really good. And I will say it is adult fantasy, so there is, you know, some sexual scenes and whatnot, and it gets really, really spicy up in these books. I also had a bunch of meetings and a bunch of chores, and also my husband and I decided to do a few renovations. Like, not really renovations, but we decided to move things around at home. We got some new furniture, and we set that up, and we moved our TV, and it was just a very busy weekend weekend. Like, wow. And the next following week, which you guys will see me plan in this video as well, I do end up um, doing a bunch of chores. <laughs> so I forgot because I added a workout section to my left sidebar for this weekly spread. I didn't have any room to add weekly goals. But since Saturday and Sunday, I don't really add much to my weekly spreads. I just had to just add a little box there with weekly goals instead. And I have a bunch of these weekend stickers and I never really use them. But so I just put one up there. I want to get most of these books kind of emptied out to make room for new books that I really want to try out. So after I finished the Sarah J Maas books, I didn't want to pick up the Raven Boys. I've wanted to trade this series for the past like four years. And then I finally got it for Christmas from my husband and I still haven't picked it up. Like I have so many books and I still haven't read most of them. 
So here's my spread so far. As you guys see, I have so much to do. So on Monday, I had a bunch of meetings. I did not complete any of my reading because I wanted to read more of Silver Flames. But I did all my work related tasks, which is really good. And then Tuesday, I had one meeting and then a lot of work related items. And I still didn't read much at all. Wednesday, I completed all of my meetings. I didn't have a lot of work-related items. I kind of just focused on the same stuff that I've been focusing on. And that's pretty much it. I really wanted to film on that day. I think I did. I think I filmed my June reading journal spread, which you guys will see sometime this week. I need to edit that video. And so for the week, May 23rd through the 29th, on Instagram, you guys voted for the theme purple, and I love the way this spread turned out. It's actually one of my favorites. I wanted to use some of the starry washi tape that I had because I just find it so, so pretty. And if you guys watched my reading journal setups, I do use this one quite often. But I went with like a space purple starry theme when it came to this spread. And I love it so, so, so much. I think it turned out so nice, and I can't wait to do more theme type spreads i think for next month instead of colors i'm gonna go with actual themes so there's like um vintage themes retro themes um summary themes stuff like that but as usual i created a sleep tracker to the left usually i also do a work hours tracker but not this time because i'm not working this week so i only did a sleep tracker and I always have to add a coffee sticker on a Monday because Mondays are always so nuts and you need a lot of coffee that day in order to even function. So because I didn't really have a hours worked tracker, I decided to do two to-do list trackers instead. One is like a major to-do list, like you have to get these things done this week. And the other one's more like, I would like to get this done this week, but it can also wait type of to-do list. I don't know if anyone else does these, these type of to-do lists, but I do because I'm I'm weird. I don't know. Oh, I love this little um, little bean sticker. So I put him there. He's just so, so cute wrapped like a burrito. Uh, I just thought it was adorable. Oh, and recently, you guys, oh my gosh, I am obsessed and so in love with the Coffee Monsters Co. YouTube channel and her shop and everything. And I recently made an order through her shop during her um, graduation sale. I'm so, so excited for that to come in. I will be doing a unboxing video for you guys to check out her stuff. Like, oh, I love it so, so much. I'm trying not to like spend a lot of money on stationary items because I have so much I wanna get through, but I am gonna save up some money to buy a bunch of her stickers during Black Friday because I just want them all. And I'm still trying to figure out next year's planner. I don't know if I should use a happy planner for 2023 or try the Hobonichi Cousin. The only reason why I'm leaning towards the Hobonichi Cousin is because I like having one planner and I kind of want to journal more. And instead of having three planners, like a reading journal and a life journal and a planner, I'd rather just have the one Hobonichi Cousin because I could do all three with just that. So I don't know. Please let me know your thoughts below if you use the Hobonichi Cousin and if you think it's a good idea for me to switch to it instead of having three different notebooks. My only thing that's kind of holding me back is I love the Happy Planner. I've never had any negativity, negative thoughts with it, any cons. But I feel like my life journal and my reading journal are not like close to being finished so I don't know if it's too soon for me to switch to Hobonichi, but I also get a feeling that if I don't switch to Hobonichi next year and I keep the happy planner, then I'll finish my reading and life journal ahead of time, if that makes any sense. But I don't know. I'm just overthinking it, and I think I'll just have to figure something out. Um, but yes, I love this spread so, so, so much. I used some more cute little stickers. I'm like obsessed with the cute little bean stickers. Like, oh my gosh. And I love the way the spread turned out. I try to make it kind of like cozy looking space themed with clouds. Um, 
and it's kind of like a lazy theme as well just because this week i'm trying to like rest more not do too much since i'm not working this week but i do love the way it turned out and i filled it out this week i actually filled it out with a blue pen which i'm not really proud of i prefer black black pens are the best in my opinion but I wanted to use the blue pen just to see if I'd like it. And it's nice, but from a distance, my blue pen does look purple. I did notice that just now. But yes, I added all these stickers. I do have a bill due on Friday. I hate bills, you guys. It's just not fun. The only time I like bills is when I have to put a sticker for it. Other than that, I don't like it. These are my two weekly spreads. I really hope you guys liked it. And thank you for listening to me ramble away. And please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next week with another video. Bye!